which at that time, know. Look at that. I don't know how much the money was, but anyway, it was, a, it was a big amount of money that was involved in it. You know what I'm trying to say? And when I started this new build, bear in mind, I've never done a new build myself. Never. All I've done is I've worked for a company doing all the foundations. So I know how the game works, but I've never actually controlled a whole job myself. So this was the first opportunity. And I'm going to job. I'm coming home. I'm talking, I'm putting in hours of work at home, like an engineer, looking at all the drawings, calculations. I'm basically the builder, the engineer, the when I get on site, I'm the supervisor, I'm everything. So I was doing double the work. People just think when you run your own business, oh, you run a business, you make money. No, bro, you're doing hours. So of course, when you make it one day, you're going to pay yourself that kind of money because you're doing hours that no one else is doing. You understand? So yeah, bro, that's how I started it. And from that day, I never looked bruh, bruh. Job after job after job after job. We've been killing it since then, so. Alhamdulillah. That's it, Ak. That's what's up. So you're saying, net, it, obviously, you just came out of jail and because there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be coming out of jail that are going to be viewing this channel mm. and viewing your channel as mm. well, innit? So what, what advice would you give these people? Like, like what's the, what advice would you give them? Um... Well, the first advice that they need to ask themselves is, well, where do I want to end up in life? That's just a basic fundamental question. What is my life about? What is my end goal? What is my purpose? If every human being answers that question, the rest is clear cut. If you know your purpose, it's period. As a Muslim, I know my purpose. Alhamdulillah. I know my purpose in life. You understand? I'm going to die one day. I'm going to meet a creator and he's the judge. And that's my life. So everything I do is to meet my creator. That's, that's me anyway. You understand? That's my purpose. And everything aligns with that purpose. <laughs> so with the people coming out of prison, you have to ask yourself, what is my purpose in this world? It ain't to be a gang bang, gang bang, gang bang, gang bang, gang bang, 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 writing is it helping people is it whatever it might be mm. let me walk towards that and be willing to start at the bottom with no ego involved you understand yes. ego has to be out of the window yes be willing to let people talk to you and however they want to talk to you mm. but talk to them in a manageable way you can't use your fist no more you can't bring out no gun no more there's no more knife no more everything has to be with your mouth whereas before because you're not emotionally and um, tapped in like that Anything you, you think, let me just trigger. Stuff it. That's it. Yeah. You don't know how to control. And if yourself. you can't beat a man with your tongue, you won't be able to beat him with your sword. Well, of course not. Of course not. Another one will come up. You gotta slice him up. But then you gotta slice him up. That's how prison was. You know how the game was. Yeah, bro. You snuff this guy, go block. You come out. You snuff this guy. You go block. You come out. You snuff. Like, you just get bored of it, bro. You get what I'm trying to say. Yeah, you family. become the victim of everything because you're the guy that's always getting a headache at the end. And you get the punishment as well. And you're Better down not. that cold block. Course with the, <laughs> with the bed sheet taken off you every morning because yeah you mad like like yeah, like man's in the army they you. take the whole mattress they take the whole mattress. the whole mattress imagine how evil these people are I'm telling they you. will take the whole mattress from you and you're only getting it after dinner <laughs> in it so all day you're like that and I tried to sleep on the metal thing yeah you it's not can't. nice you get marks at you yeah man because you got you got squares you yeah. got bare <laughs> squares like that and you're thinking later this is mad yeah 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 and you know what. God kept us strong, you know. Allah kept us strong, you know. Yeah, because people, if you if if you think about it back then, I I think to myself, bro, you actually handled a lot, you know. Mm. And there was certain man, and it's not cool to be down the block. It's not mm. cool to bang out. Mm. So don't put yourself in that position. It's dead, bro. You don't don't you owe you owe it to yourself before anyone else. Mm. Like don't put yourself in a position. We learn from our mistakes. If we had olders mm. that could we even look at that look at that look look you got the you got opportunity to sit down in your house right now. You know what I mean? And just watch someone, get me, giving you experience. Stuff. You know what I mean? Back then, man didn't have that. Mm. Man then, get me, we just had to learn the hard way ourselves. Mm. So that's why, that's why we do what we have to do. You know what I mean? As much as we're trying to prosper for ourselves, like we're trying to lead a legacy you need and a, a role way. Model. You need a role model. And a lot of these youngsters that I see today, they don't have no role models. They think these wannabe musicians out there. And I've I, I got musicians that are my friends. Yeah. So I don't disrespect any man, but what you speak about, and this is the thing, people need to differentiate two things with this uh, world, yeah? Yes, bro. Just because you do something, it doesn't mean I hate you as a person, but I hate what you do, bro. Or what you stand for. You understand? this is what you stand for. Yeah, bro. So 
in the music game now, a lot of people talking, I'm going to shoot him in the head. I'm going to stab him. I'm going to do this, do that. Yeah. I, that's what I hate. I don't hate you as a person because me and you, when we talk, you're a good guy. Yeah. Behind the scenes, you're giving money to people. Behind the scenes, you're a very kind guy. Yeah. Behind the scenes, yeah, like, you're yeah. very nice. You look after your mum. Yeah. yeah. But then you're there showing these youngsters some facade that you have to be a gangbanger and a shoot. And I remember when I used to take drugs and put them in the seat and all this kind of crap, bro. Bro, talk some stuff that's going to make the youngsters think something. Elevate smart. them. Yeah, you understand? Make them evolve. 100%. So that's why the music game for me and how it is today, I'm not all with it. Anything that promotes goodness and healthiness and smartness and intellectual, I'm with I'm it. I'm with it. Yeah. Anything that promotes bees and crack and do you holes think, and all do you the... think? Do you think sometimes when people are using these music, do you think they're being selfish in a way? Because they're, they're thinking about themselves. They're thinking about the money. Really and truly, isn't it? They're Period. not talking, I lie. Period, bro, it's money. Like, it's, it's the same as selling crack and cocaine. No one tell me no different. When I'm selling crack cocaine, I'm not thinking about the cat. I'm thinking about me. Yeah, I'm putting it at the bag. It's period. One lie here. Till today I remember, yeah, when we used to sell food. Yeah. I was driving and I saw one of the, like, uh, the cats or fiend or whatever you call them nowadays. Yeah, drug I don't addicts, know. Yeah. yeah. Drug yeah. addicts. Yeah. I'm driving and I see one of the ones that picks, picks up from us. She's, there's a KFC shop and there's a bin next to the KFC shop. She's digging in the KFC shop to get food out. That was when it hit me. I'm like, bro, is this what is this what I'm doing to these people? That you're not even thinking about food first. You're thinking about your yeah, crack. Addicts, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah, then yeah, yeah. you're Addiction, going through yeah. the bins to feed yourself. To feed yourself. Look at that, bro. And that's the same with the music game, bro. You're thinking about what's in your pocket, and you're not thinking about what your your lyrics are doing to these youngsters. These youngsters listen to your stuff, and no one told me no, but we don't promote it, bro. When we was on the road. And we're about to do a move. You listen to songs that go in line with what you're thinking about. Right or wrong? Yeah, indeed. I'm going to go listen to some stuff that's talking about, I'm going to shoot this person. And as we're driving, looking for what we're looking Pumped. for, you're, you know you're in it. Your, your adrenaline is up. And for those who smoke weed or whatever, or wherever they were smoking, they're even more into that game. You understand? So that music pushes you. It makes you lose your mind for a minute to what you're doing. And it's and only when after it's, that. It's when it's too late. It's too late. You've already done the you're thing. You've already now. done the madness. You're there running away, burning this clothes, burning that clothes, thinking you're going to get away you with it. You want it now. And you regret the... it. How many... I was chatting... Who was I chatting to? I was chatting to someone. I won't say his name. But let's just say we was talking about back in the day and the things we was doing, yeah? Yeah, bro. But we can only... Only us can chat about that because we was doing it. You understand? I can't just chat to a regular person. I say, remember when we... Do... Because certain yeah. crimes can come back to you. So we was talking about certain things we've done, yeah? And laughing about some things. And it's not laughable, but it was... But it was at the like, time, it, this at the time we was thinking like, how silly was that thing that you was doing, bro? And then he was saying, uh, he said he, he was sh he shot someone, yeah. And bro, I wasn't. He's like, I really wanted to kill. I said, but bro, why did you want to kill someone? And I'm, I never, I've even knew, I didn't even knew the story. He's just telling me now, he's like, bro, I was walking around and I shot this guy. And I'm like, why did you shoot him? What did he do to you? He's like, nah, bro, I just really wanted to kill. Why would you want to kill, bro? Because I wanted to know how it feels to kill. You understand? And I said to him, bro, do you know how like mad that sounds right now, you saying that to me? That 10 years ago, you was driving around just looking for someone to shoot and kill. That hasn't done nothing to you. You know how rocked you sound, bro. But what happens is your brain is... How's his mindset now? His mindset is obviously different. That's why we can talk about it like yeah. that. Yeah. Of course, he's laughing at that line. Like, bro, I can't even believe I was thinking like that then. Yeah, yeah. Because if I'd done that, I'll be mad regretting it in prison. Imagine that I went to prison for killing someone. Why did you kill him, bro? I just wanted to know how it feels. How stupid you sound. But then you are like the you're like the top dog. Why? Because people are thinking you ain't got nothing to lose. Remember the and that's another thing with the roads. People don't realize the more the, the highest rated people. The people that are are the ones who are willing to do the most. Right or wrong? Yeah, man. The ones that people fear are like, the reason I fear this guy is because I know scatty. he got no limits to what he's going to do. He's so scatty with it. This is what it is. And that's what it was. So he's like that. He's just, oh, I'm just, I'm just going to kill someone. Why? Because you're mentally, bro, gone. You understand? And it's only when you go to prison and that door locks. Psh, you know that sound, how it sounds. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, man. I hate that, man. <sighs> that's when you think, bro, I got another 29 years to do. For what? 
because I shot someone. Yeah, so now, nah, bro, just looking back at all of that, I just think you youngsters and listening to this music, for me, music is just, I don't know. It's the one thing that promotes a lot of things and people don't look at it as the issue. It's, it's part of the issue. I'm not saying it's the main issue, but it's a big, big part of the issue. Switch up the music. If you're listening to me, at least switch up the music, bro. Talk. See, the thing with Tupac and those days, I, talking, yeah. there was a lot of reckless stuff that there got him wisdom, killed. There was wisdom behind his words, though. hundred percent. But then you go listen to Changes. You go listen to Dear Mama. Yeah, Dear Mama. You understand? Brenda had a baby. You understand? You There was logic to his stuff. So I didn't even, I don't listen to music no more. But and I, you're not condoning music, but you're saying, if you're going to listen to Saturn. Something, at least so, listen to something that nourishes you, yeah. that, that promotes something, goodness. You understand? Not something that promotes stupidity. Because we can link it now to what? We can link it to this, uh, what's these kids that got killed up in America now? He got, he got dropped. Um, hey, Von. Von. Yeah, Von. My, my, hey, what? Little Ducks, Bridget. Yeah, I don't know this yeah, guy. Von, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, Von or something that got killed. Another guy called Mo or something got killed. Um, Mo, 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 what, Mo, the Mali from Canada? He's an American guy, Mo. He got killed. He got shot in a highway or something like that. Yeah. And, and you keep America, there's a lot of deaths. And then you listen to the tunes that they're, they're promoting. Yeah. It's those guys that's getting killed. You ain't seen a guy listening to opera getting killed. You understand me? You don't listen to the one doing pop, pop and getting killed, but the ones talking, I'm gonna snuff him in the it's neck. What you live, what you say, what you talk by is what you're gonna die by. Hundred percent, Ak. That's they, that's seriously because you're serious. manifesting that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. That's what you're calling to. That's what you're calling to. That's what you're calling. And to. a lot of man, there's one brother. Yeah, he come out of jail. I'm not gonna mention his name. He came out of jail last Friday. Yeah. Mm. I ain't seen this girl and this brother since in, when I was in HMP ISIS. You know, since 2011. So I see him. He was a young. He was a youngster, ain't it? He's a bit. He's actually mad younger than me. He's five years younger than me, actually. Yeah. So I see him, and he, he thought I was my brother, mm -hmm. X, isn't it? I said, X, what are you doing to the people, man? I can, I can see white people putting your thing up, like, rah, you're doing the mad thing out here, like, rah, you're doing the positive thing. I rate that. I said, hear that, man. I said, come, let's go for breakfast, isn't it? I said to him, innit? He said, no, my, my cousin's come out. It gave me my cousin's coming out tomorrow, so I'm taking him breakfast, and we're doing a lot. I said, yeah, cool, say no more. I said, what's your plan? He said, you know what? To be honest with you, bro. The Marlies are killing the music industry. I'm just jumping in that. I said, bro, why, bro? And the thing is, a lot of men are thinking that's the only way out. Mm. Bro, my man, you get me? Man, not going to talk about certain things, in it? But you get me? Like, if you're going into this game for clout, then you're, you're a sheep. If you're going into this game for money, then, bro, there's a million ways to make money. A million ways to make money. Look, actually, who bro, are the billionaires today? <laughs> there ain't, ain't no music. Yeah, well, yeah. there's one they say Jay Z, but I, yeah, again, yeah. If you but wanna, he he he, he switched it up. Quick. Yeah, he switched up that talk real quick. If you and plus, like, yeah, because he went from talking about that crap, then he went on he to switched it up. blueprint. Yeah, yeah, he, he switched, switched it up. up. Yeah, yeah. So I see love it. girls. He moved it to yeah. another kind of pop music. Yeah, after that yeah, kind of and he started doing music with Limp Bizkit. You understand? So he switched it <laughs> all up. Bizkit, yeah. Come on. So I'm just saying, be smart. Like the billionaires, the the proper billionaires, if you want to call it that, then the businessmen, because mm. Jay Z obviously got into business. But the main guys who started with business are what people who Microsoft, you understand? Facebook, Twitter, companies. These are what's Alibaba. These are what's making billions of money, and they add the, and and that's the thing. There are drug dealers who are billionaires, but how did they become a billionaire? You ruined how many people's life to become a billionaire, bro. Mm. You understand? Mm. These people are making money by putting value to someone else's life. Yeah. You understand? And that's what a lot of people don't understand is that's the way to do it. Put value to people's lives, money will come to you. Oui. Period. You understand? That's what I was dropping. Uh, bro, that's mad. Great mind things like that. Because that's what I was dropping my, the other day on this podcast with someone else, one brother called H in Hacks. Mm. He's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a youth worker. I said, once you give people, that's what I was saying to you. I said, once you give people value, don't chase the money. Chase how you're going to better someone. It could be physically, it could be mentally, it could be spiritually. Mm. And it will come to you. 100%. But if you try to chase the bag, then your intentions are completely wrong. Mm -hmm. like, who are you? Like, why? What, do you, you've only got one life to live. Mm -hmm. like, do you want to live by that legacy? The fact that you were just chasing something that a man made. 100%. Like, and, that's, that's the, and that's the thing. Even if you get that money, because the intention was wrong. Like I was I was with one of my youngsters the other yesterday. We went out to eat with the brothers. 
Not and this sure. youngster I haven't seen him for a while and anyway they're, they're in the music industry yeah and he's like bro I saw all the money all of it I've seen it now but it's like I don't even want it no more because when you've done something incorrect the feeling isn't it doesn't feel what you thought it was going to feel do you got what I'm trying to say mm. to you it's not there bro you got the chain you got the rings they all cost 100 bags 50 bags but you're not feeling content in you but it's sad, bro. I swear to God, it's so sad. Cause I was chatting to one of my guys yesterday, yeah. My brother, yeah, he's from, he's from he's Congolese, innit? Mm. And he's from North, innit? I was chatting to him, man. I've known this guy, yeah. I'm from West, innit? He's from North, innit? I've known him through my cousin, innit? And he was bedroom, and these times now, we was chatting and they're saying, obviously, he's got his older sister's got a son, innit? So that's his nephew, innit? And he's seen his nephew grow all his life. Mm. And obviously, his nephew must have rang him from jail. Mm. And then his nephew's like 18, 19 mm. and he's saying yo and I chat to my man I said bro you know we've got we're partially we're partially to blame Wait, for that because yeah. we didn't leave a, 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 and you know what I mean we was not great role models towards him so, like and, and he's looking at me and he's saying to me bro I want to go he's telling me I want to go Medina I want to mm. go Mecca mm. go let help me I mean, he was with the other brother that I was mentioning, you know, the Portuguese one that mm. you're saying. It. He was with him. Okay. They were together. Oh, he's Muslim now as well, the other one. Yeah, alhamdulillah. He's Aki, yeah. yeah. Was he not a Muslim back then? Was he? I can't remember. He's Aki, yeah, and he's got a daughter now, alhamdulillah okay. as well. You get me? Like, so these okay. times now they're saying, yo, the man they're looking at me and saying, yo, like, I want to go, I want to go, I want to go, I want to okay. go to the Holy Land, man. Do you know what I mean? Like, like I don't know what to do. I'm lost. Mm, confused. Bro, and, and these men, these men are leaders of gangs, bro. Mm. I don't, I don't know my man, but I know he, he, back then he must have been on it, innit? But my brethren, he, he was a leader of a whole gang. Mm. He's only five foot six, but he was the leader of the whole pack. Mm. You understand? And today, yeah, he don't, like, don't today he's, he's a father, bro. Mm. He's got a son, he's got a daughter, and he's just a father now. Mm. And he's thinking, all of that for what? All that facade for what? Nothing, I lost time. I lost my whole time. But yeah, man. Like, get me, my life's serious, man. Certain people, alhamdulillah, he's, he's on road with his people and stuff like that, alhamdulillah, but certain people don't get that second chance. Mm. And I'm grateful that God, Allah's giving me that second chance. You know what I mean? And, yeah, man, you know what I mean? But, yeah, let's talk about um, resilient mm. leader. Who is resilient? Obviously, it's you, innit, but... <laughs> 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 Sorry, brother. <laughs> nah, bro. the, the name is not about me personally. Well, lie, it's not about me. It's Where about did you get that name from? It's so, my mum. Yeah, mama. My mum. My mum. In Somali or in English? Oh, no, bro, my mum. Mashallah. My mum is the inspiration for the name. When oh, I think of when I think of the name resilience, my mum's got that name written all over her, bro. And I think most Somalian, I wouldn't say so, but I'm, I'm only talking about my culture. I'm sure. Other cultures have it, but our culture, the mums anyway, they're like the backbone. Yeah, the backbones of most Hands communities. Down. You understand? Yeah, the foundation. Everyone will say, "My mum, my mum, my mum, my mum," because the mum yeah. will have a dad that's rocked as a husband. Sorry. Yeah. And she will still be the person putting in all the work. She don't even watch my man. You understand? You don't do even watch my man. Do. Yeah. I'm doing me, bro. I'm not I'm raising these dad. kids. You understand? Yeah. So my mum. And what she's been through from being in Africa, from coming to this country and all the hardship she's been through and then, and still being sane, just to be sane, bro. And to be laughing and joking. And my mum is only, what, 46 or something like that. She's young. How long about it? Yeah, my mum is young, man. She had me when she was 15 back home. Mashallah. Yeah, so she's young, you understand? So when I think of her characteristics and how that's kind of linked into my characteristics and things I've been through and then still being standing, Resilience, you understand? Mm. And every human being needs to have that because we're all gonna go through trials and tribulations. And if you don't have resilience, it doesn't matter how smart you are, how brave you are, how rich you are, how strong you are, you're gonna crumble. And if you don't know how to get back up, you're gonna stay there. You understand? And that's where it comes from, resilient leader, that all of us are resilient and we have to be leaders. You understand? Cold. Cold, period, mashallah, bro. Period, bro. So yeah, that's mashallah. It. So you say you do what, 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 you, what do you do? What are you a life coach? What are you a motivational speaker? Like, how at, would you? At the moment, I don't. I, I if I, that, if your if your friends around you now, not in the past, it had to describe you in three words. How would they describe Abdul Latif? 
I don't need to scrap the teeth. Um, I don't know what they were strong saying. Strong-minded. I'll say because yeah. I'm a friend of yours, innit? Yeah. I'll say you're a very strong-minded yeah. man. A lot of people say strong-minded. My mum would say it in a different way. You don't listen. <laughs> um, <laughs> strong-minded, you know, visionary and, and business-minded probably. That's like my three main things. I don't, Alhamdulillah, and I don't know what it is. I don't, and I was saying in the last conversation, I never felt the need to follow people. I never felt the need to drink or smoke like everyone else. I never felt the need to have girls all the time around me and that kind of life. My aim, even on the roads, was always to be the hardest on the road and also to be the money man of the road, period. That, that was, was the that, objective. That was, that was the objective. There was, no, there was nothing else. It wasn't be, oh, let me chill with all these chicks and rave and be a... That was never... I would chill in one spot while everyone else is dancing. That's just me. You understand? When it's beef time in the front. That's what yeah, it was. Serious. And if it's not beef, don't call me. That's yeah, what it was. And so time. now that I'm practicing, if it's not legit, if it's not money, if it's not spiritual, don't call me. Period. You understand? And that's what resilience is about. It's about just knowing what you're meant to lead on in life, man. Everyone has to be a leader. The Prophet ﷺ said, He said, all of you are leaders or all of you are shepherds. And a man is a shepherd of his family. And a woman is a shepherd of her house and vice versa. Everyone is a shepherd of something. You understand? Mm. So if you're gonna, if all of us are leaders, at least be a proper leader. You understand? Yeah. That's the aim of the thing. So it's not to be a, a coach or any of that stuff. It's just inspire people as much as you can. Okay. Take it, leave it. It's up to you. I'm gonna say whatever is the truth, and that's all. That's what resilient leader is about, bro. So as you can hear him, resilient leader is gonna have a lot of content on his YouTube channel. So you guys, it's gonna be. I don't know, they're going to dash it up somewhere. So you lot, follow him up. If you guys are trying to elevate yourself, you're not trying to live in a, in a bubble, like, it will be a great guy. He inspires me a lot. And I'm not a guy, like, I don't I don't like to up and, you know what I mean? I don't like to big people up, but when man do his credit, I give them his credit. He's, he's a real inspiration. So you lot can learn a lot from him, you know what I mean? Because he's been there, done that, wore the t-shirt. Now he's the man who he is, you understand? So yeah, man, that's what's up. And yeah, and what's your name? The name of your um, construction company? Sorry, man, I forgot. Xperia. Xperia, there. Have Xperia up as well. My man, my man, my man, gonna be up there as well. And mm -hmm. what, what, what do you have planned? What have you got? Do you have a couple other ideas coming up in the future, bro? Um, not at the moment. It's just those three. That we're yeah, so yeah, you're on. gonna focus on them. Yeah, 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 good man. Concentrate on them. Let them get thing. I think the next step we were saying with a building company actually is another thing is to take it to Africa. That's another thing. Yeah, H Town. Yeah. And this guy's Idigale as well. You know, <laughs> Idigale. They come from my mum's side. Idigale is a tribe, and they're only known for eating meat. Mm. Yeah, you guys love. Do you like meat? Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they love me in it like you know, that's from my mom's that's side in it that's mashallah all, that's all back home but that's the aim now is to to also go back home and yeah. bring that that knowledge back home and just build back home bro that's where you're born that's where you're raised that's where your family's that's at the, yeah, mother, yeah, yeah, that's like, the motherland if you want to call it so yeah. yeah go back home start up the business over there as well oh your legacy up there yeah that's the aim next i think inshallah inshallah yeah yeah man, inshallah khair. so so you lot um yeah man i think man's good yeah I'm good, man. Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah. Thank you. Jazakallah khair for coming, bro. And yeah, man, definitely we're going to see each other in the near future. And you guys are going to hear a lot from him. And yeah, big up, bro, man. Alhamdulillah. Thank you, guys, man.